Hello, so I'm going to go through um, the different steps I went through to try to get JPL to work on macOS using IntelliJ. So I've had a lot of trouble uh, getting this to work. Um, there are some specific issues having to do with uh, Mac OS and the homebrew installation um, that make it more complicated than on PC. Um, I'm just going to go through the different steps I went through. I, I don't know which one made it work. I know a few where I made mistakes. Um, so there might be some repetitive steps I went through that are not necessary. But just for the record, because um, it was so much work and I don't want to go through that um, uh, hassle again, and maybe it can help other people, I'm just going to go through the different steps. So. Uh, if I try to remember, uh, one of the things I did is to um, do a, a, a brew upgrade um, of uh, Sweet Prologue um, to have the latest version. I had the uh, eight, version 8 and I upgraded to version 9. It should tell me that I have the latest version, yes, uh, Sweet Prologue 9 already installed. So that, that, that's good. Um, now, they tell you that um, here, that once you have um, um, Street Prologue installed with using Homebrew, um, that's not enough, that there are going to be some issue with uh, the lib uh, JPL library dot dlab, the dy lib. Uh, file. So I went through doing all of this, and indeed, it, it, it doesn't work. I mean, if I if I try to load my my uh, Java program that is uh, using one of the thing also to do that I did is, um, of course, to um, add uh, here. So in um, in uh, IntelliJ, you need to go to Project Structure and here add the JPL.jar. So I did, you know, plus here, I mean, not here, like here, I add a jar and here I just went to go get, and that's pretty much the only jar there is around um, after you install 3 Prolog is that you go into the content, the, the, the application package contents, um, and then swiple and then lib and then jpl.jar and I, I added this one open and here you have the jpl.jar um, I'm using Java 17 by the way um, and now I have here in the external libraries the jpl.jar um, and it's going to be org.jpl7 so here you need to import org.jpl7 the import works fine uh, I'm in my main here, um, the import works fine, and when I use all of those JPL uh, functions, it's, it works perfectly fine. Now, originally, um, what I was getting is, now if you, if you try, so, so from a Java perspective, everything is going to compile fine, there is no, no error. Um, and, and all of those JPL uh, uh, objects are, um, are compiling fine, but when you try to um, test it, you have the dreaded no JPL in Java library dot pass. So I had that like forever. It was really, really hard to get past uh, that error. Um, I did a lot of things to try to solve it. Um, one of the things is, as I went through through this process, um, so to copy the um, to copy the file that is in um, to copy the file that is I in. My tongue. I my tongue. Yeah, I I'm sorry, but I, I I'm I'm busy right now. Sorry about that. Um, um, so the file that is um, uh, in uh, show package content lib fat Darwin 
So if you go all the way down, so next to the jpl.jar, you have the fat Darwin, and here you're gonna have the libjpl.dlib. And that's the file here they're talking about that you can copy. So I, I copied this one and I pasted it uh, in this location. Well, the equivalent of this location for the new version of Prolog, which would be a bit different. It's, uh, it's not this one, it's this one. So um, here, I copied it here, and you have the path here in the bottom. Um, I can put the food path here. So you're gonna see um, the path here for the Prolog 9, it's gonna be that. So I copied it here, and then I did, um, I, I used, uh, I checked the dependencies for that file. So if I go to, um, if I cd here, um, and and I'm not even sure I, I need to do that, but again, it's hard for me to know now what, what worked and what didn't work. Here, what they tell you on this page um, for the deployment of JPL on macOS is that these relative paths are not gonna work. So because the, the so basically the idea is that when we do the homebrew installation, it's installing all of the things here in user local, seller, da, da, da. but it doesn't install the JPL library, the native library. So we have to copy paste it. But when you copy paste it, if you if you do a if you do a O two dash L on this file, uh, what you see is that you have uh, all of those are defined as relative pa relative path, right? So um, here it's not the case anymore because I redefined them. I already did that, right? But first you have some relative paths and these relative paths are not gonna work for instance because it's gonna say, well, just go get the libjvm, but there is no libjvm here um, next to it, not here, but uh, here where you just copied it. So you need to put absolute path instead so I went to go get the absolute path, for instance, of libjvm.dylib for the JVK 17. Um, and um, and I, I just put the absolute path here. I actually changed only two of them. Here they changed three of them. I, I only had need for two, uh, given the one I had, because this one is already, well, that's a relative path. That's not a problem. That's the file itself. Um, and this um, other one is um, is the libsweeple.9 and you can find that um, at, I found it at this absolute path. Uh, same thing in the seller sweep prolog slash 9.0.4, etc. So I changed these two using exactly that comment that they give you here, right? So install name tool, change, da 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 da. da. So I followed basically those instructions. Uh, and once all entries are valid, you can add the path to uh, the library to your java.path.library. Uh, and here is the, well, by the way, there is a little mistake, I think here, I think here, because um, they say you need to copy it into this folder. Um, but this folder is, um, is, is this. Um, and you don't want to copy the, the uh, JPL library here, right? So I went in there and I think that's, that's really what they meant. Uh, that's what they meant obviously because afterwards that's what we see. Uh, we see it's in the, it's in the x86, uh, 64 Darwin thing. So anyway, so I went through that and then um, here they tell you to add like same thing here, they are missing. Here they put lib, but it's actually all of the way with this. Uh, there's something weird in my frame here. I can see the end, but anyway. Um, so uh, yeah, and then and then I think that's where I completely messed up because I didn't do that step right. What I did is I went to edit configuration and I went here and I just copy paste uh, this thing. Uh, well, this argument, right? Well, not exactly this one because my path is different, right? My path is user local cell, but it's not the version seven. It's um, so if I go back to this, 
it's going to be this one, right? So P W D. Okay, so that's my path to the new library, and I I put that here, um, and that's 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 a that's a really stupid mistake because actually this is the program argument. It's not the VM argument, and I was obvious for me that the one that they would uh, put here by default would be the VM argument. So I applied, and and then if I run it, uh, of course I get an error, right? I was like, well, how did it, the Java library path is I specified it here, and then it says, well, no, no JPL, and then the path it gives me don't include the one I specified, and it gave me so much nightmare <laughs> because um, because I, I could not figure this out. So I went through, by the way, just before I give this, this solution, which is really, really actually easy, I went through all kind of different approaches. Um, some that say you need to put like, you know, there is one, I don't have it here anymore, but the one that mentions like changing your environment variables. So by the way, I went through doing that. Um, where is it? Uh, it's, um, uh, open is it like dot profile yes so I created this profile with like environment variable and a, a sweet home directory I don't think this does anything to be honest uh, because it didn't solve my problem at all um, but I did that so just for the record uh, I also did that um, it didn't solve the problem I used the Mac port solution so here someone seemed to say, well, there's really a problem with Mac OS, which seemed to be my case because uh, it didn't seem to, um, everywhere I looked at solutions for Windows, it didn't seem to be to quite match the issue I had. So anyway, I also did that. I did the Sui Prolog, the port install Sui Prolog on terminal. So I just did, I installed the Mac ports and then, and then you just do this, right? and it installed three prolog on Mac ports. And to be honest, I don't even know what it does. Um, and then I followed exactly this. Uh, it didn't solve my problem. Uh, and then finally, after a whole while, so that's, I think I, I covered everything. After a while, I realized looking at, well, how to change the, 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 the well, it seemed really the Java that path that library was the issue. And so I really looked again here and it's like VM options, program arguments, all of a sudden I had this light bulb that, oh my gosh, I've been, I've been putting it in program arguments, <laughs> not in the VM arguments. So um, I thought, well, where is, where is like, so the, in old versions of IntelliJ, like you can see here, you see by default VM options. And that's the first field. But here it's like the first field is not VM options. It's like, where is that? And then I realized, oh, there's this whole thing here uh, with, uh, you can add VM options. And so what I had put here, I should have put here. My first version was on the Mac ports fix um, that this person was proposing, uh, but um, it doesn't work. It doesn't have the library, so I didn't do the, I think I might have to do a cop. No, I didn't do the copy paste that I mentioned before. So of course, then I thought, well, I should probably put it back to where I put it originally and where it should have been given that page, right? So in the end, that page is correct apparently because if I follow it uh, step by step, it actually is um, working. So now if I apply, okay, and I execute, um, it works. I mean, there's some errors, but the, the prolog program is, 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 is working. So uh, that's it. I hope uh, it's gonna be helpful maybe for other people than uh, myself.